In this lesson, we're going to do a little bit of a deeper dive into working with anchor points, namely selecting our anchor points, editing our anchor points, even adding and removing anchor points to get more complex shapes. Now, currently, I have one shape selected, and that shape is selected using our regular selection tool. In order to see our options for our anchor points, we need to work with the direct selection tool. Okay, so you'll notice that as soon as I select that, I get a different set of options here on my shape. And you'll notice here I get all these different new shapes here around the outside instead of that regular bounding box. So if I click on this now, you'll see I get these little white boxes. I go over to here to my direct selection tool and now they become these solid blue boxes. That is indicating to me that these are now anchor points. Now this is a little review from before, so I'm just going to go ahead and just show you again. You simply click on one, that becomes the isolated and active and selected anchor point, and I can very easily move that in and out and do all kinds of different things to this to have a very different type of shape. Okay, so very cool, I can go ahead and do this one, and I'll go ahead and select this particular anchor point, and because this is a curve, I get these little bezier handles. Okay, again, a little bit of review for you here. Now, let's see what we can do in terms of manipulating these in potentially a different way. I want you to notice in the upper left now, I have this option to convert my anchor points. So if I wanted to convert this into, let's say, a corner anchor point, I can very easily do that with just one click. I'll go ahead and do the same thing here. Notice I isolated it. This has a dark blue selection now as opposed to these hollow white ones. And I'm gonna simply click on that. And now, bam, we're on our way to do a very different kind of shape. And then maybe I'm gonna be drawing out a leaf of some kind. Very cool. So now I can select this one. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and just bring that in, like so, bring this in, like so. And now I'm on my way to creating potentially different object. And it started off as a circle. All right, so on top, I have one anchor point that was converted from a curve into a corner, and the same thing for the top. And then these guys, I just brought them in a little bit. Okay, so very cool, very easy to do. But now let's say I wanted to go a little bit more complex with my drawing. That's when I can then add on anchor points. So how do I do that? Well, if you go over to here to your pen tool and you right click, you're gonna see I have all kinds of different options here, just my regular pen tool. We're gonna to do a lesson on that in a little bit. And then we have this add anchor point and then delete anchor point. So I'm going to now just go ahead and fly that out so it's just kind of floating there. Okay, but I want you to also notice that these have some really great keyboard shortcuts like the plus sign and the minus sign. There's no command or control or anything. It's literally just the plus sign and also just the minus sign. See that? I'm just tapping the plus and minus on my keyboard and it just toggles right through it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add on an anchor point to this little leaf to maybe have a little bit more kind of texture to this leaf, all right? Now think about anchor points as kind of like joints, right? So if you look at your arm right now, you've got your wrist, you've got your elbow, you look at your leg, you've got your ankles and you got your knees, and that allows for a little more sort of like bendability. Okay, your forearm in the middle does not have a joint, so it can't really bend. Okay, so we need to add on more kind of bendability and joints to the shape here. So imagine there's no knee right in this spot here, and I want to add on a knee. Or maybe you want to add on several types of things to kind of create a nice little kind of ripple effect here. We can very easily do that. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you're gonna see that when I click here, I get this little plus sign. And now when I click anywhere, you can see right there on the line, I get a new anchor point. I'm just gonna go ahead and click here and then I'm gonna get another anchor point. I'm gonna click here, get an anchor point. Okay, and then maybe I'll even come here and get yet another anchor point, okay? So you'll see that when I select any of these, you see, I get a little anchor point right there and then another little anchor point right there, et cetera. Now this is gonna allow me to then kind of create a little bit more kind of texture to this. See that, I'm gonna go like kind of every other one, you know, kind of playing around with it to then have a little bit more ways of playing around with it, even with my Bezier handles. And then I'm just really creating kind of different texture around it. Now recall that I could even use my arrow keys on my keyboard to then just kind of nudge it a little bit here and there. Also recall that I can move around my anchor points if I wanted to, to have maybe a little more texture up there 
or bring it down or even bring it in just like that. Okay, so now I'm starting to get a little more of a kind of a leafy type of structure, right? A little bit more kind of organic. And you might want to play with that on this other side, just the same, very easily. I'm just going to tap on the plus sign this time and then just go ahead and click, click and just kind of go crazy with it, right? Just it's very organic, very natural. Then I come back to my direct selection tool and then just start kind of moving it around. Get, get some kind of natural wavy stuff happening there. Okay, so this is going to give you a lot of control here. Okay, so again, don't forget that you also have the ability to play around with your Bezier handles to kind of adjust the sort of wavelength of how that's going to be. Cool, I love this. And then maybe this is going to be an ice cream cone. There's all kinds of different things we can do with this. All right, now let's say I added on a little bit too much of an anchor point here. Well, what I can do is very easily come back to my subtract or remove anchor point. And all I do is very simply click on the anchor point and it's gone. So let me go ahead and kind of just do the reverse now. See that? Very easily bringing it right back, bringing it right back. And there we are. Nice little straight line. So if you decide you want something, bam, apply it. And then if you decide you don't want it, you can very, very easily remove them. OK, so very, very nice. All right, now if we go over to here to um, this object one more time, we can see that we can very, very easily manipulate any kind of shape that we have here. So I'll go back to my direct selection tool, click it, and you'll notice a whole bunch of anchor points here. And then very easily, I can then just click on this, move it in, very, very nice, very, very different shape. All of a sudden, without having to do too much at all, I can bring this down, so then it kind of connects. And then maybe I do this and I'm going to play around with my little Bezier handles. Great. And then you're kind of changing the angle for that. Okay, cool. Well, you know what? I wouldn't mind a little bit more kind of modification for this and for this one. So that's when you would add on an anchor point and you just simply click and then you have a new anchor point. Go back to your direct selection tool and then bam, there you are. Okay. Now let's talk about some nice little sort of pro tips as you're working on these tools to be able to very quickly and easily kind of navigate between your add anchor point tool and remove anchor point tool and your direct selection tool. So let's say for example, I'm going to add one on here. So I'm going to tap on the plus sign and then I click on it. There it is. But let's say I want to move it right away. Well, notice what I'm doing here. I'm holding down the control or command key on my keyboard to temporarily have access to that direct selection tool. Notice I didn't have to go anywhere. I'm holding down the control or command key and now I can very, very easily move this around temporarily. Okay, let's make it a little fatter this time. Great. And now I can come back to it, right? And then kind of get it right. Okay, go right on top of the anchor point, not on the Bezier handle. Great. But guess what? Then I'm right back to this again. Okay, let's add on one more. So now I'm back to my add anchor point tool. I hold down the command or control key and now bam, there I am. I don't like this to be pointy. So now I can very easily convert this to a smooth or a curved anchor point. Very cool. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Select that, holding down the control key, and convert that. Very nice. Okay. Now I have, again, a very, very different shape. All right. In a little bit, we're going to learn how we can work with a smooth tool to kind of smooth some of these things out. But right now, we're just learning some of the nuances of how we can work with not only the direct selection tool, but the adding and removing anchor points, and now converting our anchor points. And then finally, using these tools to be able to select our anchor points without having to go back to the direct selection tool. Okay, so really a lot you can do. Pretty much anchor points are the cornerstone of all your illustrations. So it's important that we master this. Okay, so pause the video and we'll see you soon. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.